I'm Diana Edgerton with MakeYouHappen.com, and I'm here today because you had a question. Joining us is Corey Gilday, co-owner of Excel Human Performance. Hello, Corey. Hi, Diana. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Outstanding. Great. So, one of our members asked a question this week, and the question was, where do you get a VO2? Well, the place to get a VO2 in Vancouver, we're the only place, Axelium Performance is the only place in Vancouver, Washington, that does the VO2 test. And we do the new leaf active metabolism test that we actually will do a resting metabolism test, and then we'll do actually a, fit, a fitness uh, metabolism test, which is a the traditional VO2 max test that we do, the traditional marathon runners and stuff like that, but we actually use it to apply it to the gym setting. Um, well, my question, because I'm not too familiar with it, is what is a VO2? The VO2 uh, test is a test that we use on, have used in the past to test the maximum oxygen consumption at the, at the maximum heart rate for athletes. So we test uh, traditional test marathon runners and stuff like that to figure out what their oxygen consumption is at the highest heart rate that they can use oxygen at, and when they and when they trail off into what's called use carbohydrate usage. Because we, it's a good indicator to us as exercise physiologists, if an athlete's using oxygen, they're burning fat for energy. Once they stop using oxygen, they use more carbohydrates. So we use that to develop with elite athletes such as Lance Armstrong and and others. How do we develop a training program to make and maximize their oxygen consumption so they can stay into longer duration activities? Um, we use it so that we can maximize our clients' weight loss so that they don't go too high or too low. They can maximize how much uh, fat they burn during the activities and we can actually change their metabolism uh, after we're done with good, a good integrated program. So you can. Um Make it so somebody can lose weight. Mm -hmm. How about building muscle? Well, this test is going to pinpoint. Will tell you how much. Will tell you how much to feed you, because the resting, uh, the resting will actually give you an equation of whether weight you want to gain or lose weight. I do have a client on the screen right here. Um, this is more for weight loss, but it, it shows the same per, same things. The resting metabolic test will shows us at, 50, at 1352, and their activity because they have a lot, very light at lifestyle. Uh, gives us an equation to bring, bring us up to 1758. That's how many calories they need to maintain their current weight. This person, of course, wants to lose weight, so it gives us an equation they want to lose a pound a week. That ends up being 3,500 calories a week that we need to that we need to pull out of there. So it's 500 calories a day that we need to burn either through take away from food or we need to take or add more activity. The same thing would be for someone who wanted to gain weight. So we'd obviously just go. They need to want to gain a pound a week. Then we have to add extra calories, and we just would add calories to that on top of the activities that we do. So if you're going to work out, then you're eating more food. So it just kind of gives a good, simple plan of no more guessing. I need to have these foods or this foods. It's exactly how many calories we need to eat. So Wow, it sounds very scientific. And the, ex the exercise test would not be as applicable to someone to want to gain weight. But for an athlete, such as a football player, basketball player, uh, any type of athlete, even a, not even a cross country runner, but someone who needs to work on their recovery ability, even a sprint athlete that run the run across the field and needs to be fresh for that next sprint, we can develop a program based off the VO2 to maximize their 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 functional fitness capability. Well, I'd like to see how it's done. Okay. Well, I do have uh, one of our trainers who's going to actually help demonstrate how this test is done. Um, we have two different ways. Two different tubes to do this. Let me introduce one of our trainers, Summer Sellers. Hello. So, what we have you do is have our clients come in, and the, of course they first do the exercise test, which is the this, I mean the resting test, and this is the resting tube that we use. And they sit down and they'll, put, they'll place this mask over their face, and then they will sit and they will you they will uh, take the test for 12 to 15 minutes and get an exercise and get a good resting metabolism test. After that, then we do the exercise test so I'm going to show you is we use this bigger tube. Get it going. <laughs> so, I have some to put it together because you should have the clients do it. Okay. Now this apparatus will measure carbon dioxide, it measures oxygen consumption, 
It's going to also measure heart rate. I'm going to turn this around so that they can get an active heart rate strap. Summer already has a heart rate strap on, but usually we attach a polar heart rate strap to her so we can get a heart rate strap. This device through here picks up the heart rate. Okay. You attach this through the nozzle through here. Okay. Now, I have previously entered, usually I enter all her height, her height, weight, body fat, what her current fitness level is, and we start them off at a, a, a walking speed of about 3.0. Start it, and there we go. This test will prompt us all the way up uh, to have her get to a run. So every two, mi every two minutes it's going to increase grade and speed. It's going to track the heart rate as we go up. So. Previous tests. I can show you previous tests as she's doing her test. the camera. So this is a previous test of someone's heart rate increasing and this is their fat utilization and then coming down. So this is what we're trying to test on Summer to figure out what is she, you know, what, what, what's her peak point. Then we'll take her up to a run. Now we're up to a run, we're gonna figure out what her maximal oxygen capacity at the run is as we're increasing tension. Now just because summer's running doesn't mean everyone runs. We have a lot of clients that can't run, that we just do a, a, a walking, hiking test on them to figure out what's gonna be their best, uh, uh, best way to lose for them to lose body fat. You may be fit, but you can't run because of an injury. We find well, there's, there's ways that we can adapt this to work for everyone. So it's not just the elite uh, fit learners who can do this, it's everyone. So. Yeah. And we can also take this if we have peak clients that have other gyms, stuff like that, where it, that we can do resting metabolisms at their homes. And if they have a treadmill or something, we can do that at their, at their place of work. If they have corporate fitness centers, we can take it there, too. So.